Downloading is an important aspect of most of your designs, whether you're creating images, documents, video presentations, or other things. How do you download your design? Why does it sometimes prompt you to pay when you use Canva for free? What are the benefits to downloading with Canva Pro and how does that help YouTube content creators? This tutorial will answer all of that and more. Let's get started. When you click the three dots, just like when we talked about make a copy, there is also a download button. I'm going to click download and you can change the file type on it. It automatically suggests what it thinks that you should do. So for this one, it's suggesting PDF print. If I click on this one, it's going to suggest a PNG. I can choose the pages that I want. I can choose all of them. I can choose one of them. I could choose multiple and leave one out. And download. It will prepare your design. It saved it. If you're in your project, there are a couple ways you can reach your download button. Let's start over here on the left. You can go to file and download and it automatically opens the download right here. You can also find it. Let me X that out clicking this button. It's an arrow with a line on it. Click download. There are your options. And the final way is the three dots right here and download. I'm going to mention one more time that it automatically recommends what it thinks you should use. If I click add a page and I add something from a template that has a video like this. When I click download, it changed the file type to recommend an MP4 video instead. Somebody asked why they have to pay for downloads if they have Canva free. Well, there's a very simple explanation. It means that something on your graphic is a Canva Pro premium element. And here's what that means. In this template, it is 100% free. If I click on download, there is nothing prompting me to pay. However, let's say we've got other photos in there instead. Put this one in, this one in, and even this one in. That one's a free image, but these two are not. You're going to notice the watermark on both of them. There are some that are free and some that are pro. We're just going to grab this one. What about that? When you click download, it's going to prompt you to pay for three premium images. And your options are to pay for those three images and it only is for that one design or upgrade to Canva Pro and then you could use them or download a free watermark draft, which means that you would see Canva and the watermark in it or change the elements out for a free element. So here's this one. Here's one that looks similar and move that one out. You can detach this one and this one and ideally put your own photos in there. Now when I go to download, I don't have to pay for it. It's just the elements within. So if it prompts you to pay, it means something that you've put in there is a premium element. 
The other reason it would prompt you to pay is if you try to select something that is a Canva Pro option. Let's change this to PNG and you're gonna notice that there are premium crowns here. If I try to click one of these options, it will prompt me to subscribe to use that feature. If I try to compress the file, same thing. If I try to change the size, same thing. If I try to download it as an SVG, same thing. So those are the reasons that you would get prompted to pay. Now we're gonna look at a real world example about why it's beneficial to have Pro, especially if you are a YouTube content creator. You'll have noticed that I've got these things right here for typewriter. And this is the green screen effect that I've created for this tutorial. I go to download and really with, I have an animation, Canva Pro doesn't help me. However, if I ignored the animation and it just was going to pop up without the animation, when I click PNG, I can choose a transparent background. I've got it on page 16. This is where this save download setting really saves time because I'm going to download this as a free background and I will put it right here. When I go to download, all of my settings are saved and I can just click download. I don't have to reselect all those things. And it also gets rid of the stuff. It gets rid of the pink without me having to chroma key it in. Let me show you what that means right here. One of the Canva Classroom subscribers, Living Creekside, asked a question about the color palette generator. So today, I want to answer that question on how you can get the color palette generator and how you get the color from that generator onto your design. Thank you, Living Creekside, for commenting your question. Here is the color palette generator. Go to canva.com slash colors and there will be four options for you. You ask specifically about the palette generator, so click that. It has its own link. I will leave that in the description below for you. Your question was, how do you get the color from the generator to your design? The first thing you need to do is open up a browser with the color palette generator in one tab and your design in another. Tab A here, I've got the color palette generator and in tab B, I have the project. You have an image with several colors that match that image. The easiest way is to hover over the color and click it. You see that check mark? It means that it has copied. Then go to the other tab with your design, click on the element or item that you would like to change, click on the color icon. Here is a search bar. You will paste that color into your design. From your search, here it is. It also gives you suggestions on other colors that Canva thinks that you might like. You can keep doing this with all of these colors. Let me show you an example of how you can upload an image and do the same thing. 
Here is an image that I've used in this tutorial. And here are colors from that design. What I'm going to do is copy this bright turquoise color by clicking it. You have to click something for the color box to come up. If you're doing text, it will be here underneath the letter text color. You click it, it will look like this, and you can paste in your color. And there it is. So you see how that is very, very close to that blue color. If you have questions about Canva, be sure to leave a comment because I might just answer it in the next tutorial. Let's learn about the different file types Canva has to offer and which options require a Canva Pro subscription for each of them. When you download an image, you have two choices. PNG, which is a high quality image, and JPEG. This is going to be a smaller file size, less quality. When we click PNG, your Canva Pro options are changing the size of it. You can add a transparent background and you can compress the file. And let's look at JPEG, small file image. There are two Canva Pro options here if you are a Canva Pro subscriber. You can change the size of it and you can even increase the quality a little bit or decrease it if you need it smaller. Comment below if you have any questions regarding PNGs or JPEG. Next, we're gonna talk about downloading videos. There are two types, but we're gonna look at this really quickly before we do that. This is a YouTube outro. I could put videos here to recommend along with my logo for you to click to subscribe. Let's look at what it looks like. It's that simple. Now, downloading it. How should I download it? Click download. MP4 video suggested. There are no Canva Pro options at this time. This is completely free. I'm just gonna download it straight like that. Because this is only one page, there were no page options for me to choose. It takes it a little while to download a video. This one is 15 seconds long. While it's downloading, I'm gonna show you that you can edit the timing by clicking the timer button and changing it. So I could change it up to this one up to 30 seconds or even down to 0.1 seconds. And now we're gonna look at the other option. You can choose a GIF. There are no Canva Pro options here either. A GIF is what you would want to use for a short clip with no sound. MP4 video is what you want to use for high quality videos or something with sound. 99% of the time I choose MP4 video, but you know, occasionally there might be a reason to have a GIF. Let's download the GIF and see how long it takes. While it's thinking, I'm gonna show you that I did a page animation with a Canva Pro animation. I did that. I could have done any of these. These are all Canva Pro animations. It is still downloading. I could have blocked the text. I need to save the file. Let's move on to our next thing. We have talked images, PNG, and JPEG. 
We've talked MP4 video and GIF. Now we're going to move on to PDF standard and PDF print. Let's click download. It recommends PDF print. There are no Canva Pro options at this time, so it is completely free. But the options you can choose here, you can choose to crop marks and bleed, and you can save your download setting. If you are printing a PDF, use PDF print. Downloading it is simple. It downloads really quickly. Also, PDF standard is a small file size multi-page document. Let's see how quickly that one goes. It went very quickly. So the differences between standard and print is print will be your higher quality document and your standard is going to be a smaller file size. Depending on your purposes will depend on which one you choose. Let's talk SVGs. One of the reasons that I'm really glad that I now have Canva Pro is that I can create designs easily and upload them to my Cricut Design space. When you have Canva Pro, you can download something as an SVG, a sharp vector graphic which means that you can resize it really small and really large and it won't lose any quality. SVG, transparent background, the page you want to download, download. I'm gonna scroll down, here's another one I did. Here is what it looks like and you're gonna see that it's got a transparent background since I talked about Cricut and Cricut Design Space, when I uploaded Ghouls Just Want to Have Fun and Creeping It Real into Cricut Design Space, it changed my colors on me. I was able to go in once I uploaded it and add the color that I wanted in both of them. I hope you enjoyed tips 14 to 28 in today's subscriber celebration. Part three will share the 10 things that I love about Canva Pro. These are two new tutorials coming to the channel too. Which one excites you the most? Comment below. Thank you so much for learning with me today. If you like this video and wanna see more like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I recommend watching this lesson next. See you next time. Bye.